Hey friends, today I am checking into Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort for a little Memorial Day weekend vacation. I am so excited to show you all of the resort amenities and just have a nice relaxing time. Anywho's, let's go do this. Look at this beautiful resort. And the best thing about it, it's right next to the monorail. Look at that. We get to be staring at monorails all day. I'm excited. It being Memorial Day weekend, the parks are extremely busy and the resorts are busy themselves as well. And recently Disney changed their mask policy where you don't need to wear a mask outside. The reason I have my mask on now is because you do still need to wear your mask when you're actually in transit to your room and walking down the hallways and the lobby area. But if you go outside, you can take your mask off. In your room, of course, you can take your mask off. And basically anywhere else, even in the restaurants, as long as you're eating or drinking and uh, yeah I'm just excited to show you all of this beautiful resort I did a mobile check-in so my room is all ready we can just head directly there but I wanted to walk into the, just the lobby area I love contemporary and Bay Lake look at these murals in here isn't it so amazing oh and I could feel the AC I think I'm gonna head straight up to my room and get all settled in, and then we'll go walk around the resort a little bit. I'm excited to show you the room because I've stayed here in the past, but only in a studio, and this time I was lucky enough to get a much bigger room, and I don't even know what it looks like. I haven't made there yet, so I'm gonna take you right up with me. Here is our room, room number 7920. So we'll get to go inside and check it all out. Actually though, I think it's 7918. Yeah, 7918 I think is what it said. So, oh, yep, so it's definitely this one. Or maybe it's both. How crazy is this? Wow, <laughs> I, I, when I went to go check in, like I did the online check-in, it gave me my room number, said 7920, and then it said 7918, and it's a two-bedroom lock-off. This is gonna be so amazing. I've never stayed in a room this big before. Usually I only stay in like the studios, except for when I stay at like the bungalows and the treehouse villas. So like this is so really amazing. I can't wait to show you all of it. We'll start over here and we'll take a look. Now, there are three bathrooms in this room. Three bathrooms. We have this bathroom right here. Very nice, it's got a little tub. And then we've got the living room, which can we just talk about the Space Mountain mural right here? And a nice little dining table. And then of course, the view. Look at that. <laughs> I actually got a little teary-eyed when I first walked in here. Can you just believe it? It's unbelievable. Look at, and there's a monorail going by. This is beautiful. I'm gonna stare at this for hours. Oh, and then over here, we have a nice little couch, some chairs, another mural. There's my Harry Potter backpack, a full kitchen with a full fridge, a dishwasher, a stove, Holy moly, this is gigantic. This is so beautiful, honestly. I think it's like such a dream resort, especially having a theme park view. You have this gigantic window to stare at, and then also each of the rooms have their own balcony. So we have two balconies and a gigantic window just to stare out at the Magic Kingdom. This is, oh man, I can't wait. I wonder if we're gonna be able to watch a sunset. Oh boy. It looks like we are gonna be able to watch a sunset. I wanna show you the rest of the room first though. Like I said, we have a full oven, a fancy microwave. I mean, that is very fancy. In fact, it's pretty sharp. And then, ooh, nice kitchen cabinets. I like that. A dishwasher. And then we've got a full fridge, fully stocked. French vanilla creamer and Bud Light, ready to go. I love it. Tons of other amazing things like toasters, coffee makers, everything you need for a full vacation. But it's so beautiful. And the dining room area is just so beautiful. I love that table. I like these bar stools. Oh, these are fancy. Everything looks very comfortable. 
Now I want to show you the other bedrooms and plus the balconies and the bathrooms. The other room is a lock off so it's basically just a Bay Lake studio which I stayed at before but the master or the big bedroom and bathroom this is something special. So to the left you go on over to the studio which these doors actually shut but to the right look at this. I shut the blinds because it's very bright in here. Oh my word. Look at that mural up there. Goofy, Mickey, and I think that's Minnie. I love the headboard. And then a jacuzzi. You can sit in the jacuzzi and then look at the view and wait till I show you the view. But wow. But like I said before, three bathrooms, all full bathrooms with actual tubs and showers and toilets and hand sinks, three full bathrooms, and one of them has a jacuzzi. You can sit and stare at the castle in front of you in the jacuzzi tub, or you can stare at the castle to the right of you. How cool is that? And then on this side, we have a nice stand-up shower, a nice toilet area, a commode, and it's just, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it's big enough to run back and forth. Like, <laughs> if we can like run back, I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that is amazing, right? <laughs> I love it. This is the studio side. We have some nice Mickey murals and another TV, plenty of closet space in here actually. And the other bathroom, it's got a tub and it's actually not connected. It also has a kitchen area, a little mini kitchen area. Comes with a little mini fridge and everything. But now I wanna show you guys the balcony. And the cool thing is, is you can get to the balcony from the bedrooms or from the main living room right here in the center. And I like that a lot. Well, you can't get to the one on the studio side. You can't get to that balcony, just this side. And I still think it's very fun. First, we need to put on some resort TV. Oh, it's a smart TV, you say, huh? Definitely gotta find, oh yeah, right there. I like to hear the music. How does it start with my favorite song? Wow. <laughs> and then right over here, like I said, you can go out to the balcony and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a look, see, I don't know how to open this. To unlock, turn knob counterclockwise, and then, ooh, look at that. It's breathtaking, isn't it? It kind of gives me the chills. Just staring off. I wish there were fireworks happening. It would be such a dream. Oh my word. I can spend hours out here and not move. Just literally spend hours. This railing's a little hot though. <laughs> I just touched it. I'm like, ooh, you don't want to lean up against that for too long. Then you can just go right back inside. And the other balcony is on this side. Did you know they had basketball courts at the Contemporary? Look at that down there. They got a full basketball court and a tennis court. Speaking of the basketball courts and the tennis courts, I think we're gonna go walk around the resort and take a look at some of the amenities that they have. I wanna watch the sunset from up on the balcony here or just in the living room because the window is so beautiful. But also later on, I want to hang out by the fire. I don't know why, but I love sitting by the fire at Disney. And I think this is one of the only resorts that is actually doing the fire currently. Uh, a couple of the other resorts haven't started it back up, but I know they're doing it here because I've done it just a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to do that and just explore. We're going to head on over to the elevators, but take a look at all the offerings they have down there. We have a Mickey shaped pool. That is a Mickey Mouse like water slide i see a jacuzzi the beach and the view from the elevator area is also magnificent look at this I get to see all of the contemporary and all of seven seas lagoon i want to go explore around that area and just take it all in there is a pool bar that we can check out they have some other activities in the main courtyard it's just beautiful to be out here the weather is like so perfect look at all of this what a nice courtyard they've got ping pong over there 
connect four the pool and just look at those skies like i love it here it is such an amazing resort well, we could play some chess over here is where the fire is going to be a little bit later on tonight i don't want to show the pool because there is a lot of people swimming in there at the moment but i can show you like the beach area and i just love the outdoors of round seven seas lagoon it is such a beautiful man-made lake and i love it i just I, i'm excited to be here always right next to the jacuzzi is the beach access and they can go down here i'm gonna get sand in my shoes though oh shucks it's like your private own beach nobody's even down here got a nice little hammock over there oh yes i like this <laughs> i'm definitely gonna get sand in my shoes this is the light I didn't even realize, but I could take my mask off. So now I can walk around without my mask on. And it was nice just hanging out on the beach for a couple minutes. I come back actually, but there's a lot more I want to explore and show you because this is beautiful, like I said. They also have a little tiny barbecue area over here where you can come cook out. Look at that. I wish I would have known I would have brought my charcoal and we could have had a little shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> That's awesome. It also looks like the resort has a pool table and some cornhole and that'd be cool to come hang out and play some pool. Wish I had somebody here with me I could play pool with because I could definitely go for a game of pool. Looks like there's bocce over there and then there's some cornhole and then the pool table's right here. And then there's a the resort. <laughs> so amazing. Another really cool thing that you can do is walk right over to the contemporary from Bay Lake because it is the contemporary But like it's a separate building and the walkway is actually very beautiful They have their own pool and little bars and activities going on right here as well And you get two for the price of one technically and maybe we'll just uh, take a look there and see what they got going on I do need to get something to eat for tonight I don't know if we're gonna dine at the contemporary or if we're gonna head on over to the Magic Kingdom right now this resort probably has the most offerings for like meals so they have the contempo cafe they have chef mickey's now serving dinner they have california grill they have the wave they have a lot of different food offerings and that's actually very like a good thing to say about a resort because a lot of resorts only have one spot this one has almost five I wanted to come over here and check out the sandbar. Now they serve some quick service food here, but nothing I would probably get to eat. They have a lot of good offerings inside the Contemporary itself, but I like to look at the menu because you never know, maybe something new might have popped up. And then take a look at everything over here. They have another water slide here. So like technically you would have two water slides at this resort, not one, but two. <laughs> Since I'm over here, I want to go walk somewhere that I never got the chance to walk to but I always wanted to because I think it's so fascinating is the water bridge. The bridge, like the water bridge where the boats actually cross and the traffic goes underneath it. I think it'd be cool to walk over there and see it from a different perspective. I always think those things are really cool to me. It's right on the other side of the contemporary. There is the little contemporary, which is the garden view uh, contemporary. You should be able to be able to cross like somewhere right here and be able to see that water bridge area. I have never even seen the rooms or the inside of the garden wing here at the Contemporary. If you've ever stayed there, let me know what you guys think of them. Maybe we'll explore inside there a little bit. Maybe there might be a miniature lobby. I mean, that'd be interesting, right? It does look like it's got a miniature lobby right there. But let's go over and check out the water bridge first. It's right over on this side. I know it doesn't seem like it's a lot of fun, but to me, I'm like, ooh, I get to get close. There are three water bridges in Disney World. Water bridges are kind of rare too, uh, but one of them is right here uh, at the Magic Kingdom loop. And uh, if you guys know where the other two are, let me know in the comments because, I mean, I know where they're at, but it's kind of fun to try to explore and learn more knowledge. So yeah, it's very cool to me. And plus we get to walk underneath the monorail track. Here it is. How fancy, right? You wouldn't know it, but there's actually cars driving underneath this. Like there's an actual like road. Isn't that amazing? Look at the buses going right there. So cool, I feel like. And then the water right there. 
I wish there was a boat coming by. Uh, they do have the resort launches that actually head that way, but I don't think anyone's going to be coming anytime soon. But you can picture maybe a little boat scooting across the bridge. I spoke too soon. Here comes the boat. <laughs> wow. The littlest things get me excited. Oh, and there's another one coming. <laughs> this is too awesome. Oh, we're about to hit the Mecca. We've got monorails and boats all in one shot. You gotta be kidding me. Look at that. What a sight. I am obsessed with transportation, whether it be trains, boats, monorails, people movers. I don't know why. It's just something that I really love. Walt Disney had that same love. He loved transportation and he always came up with different ways to actually incorporate it in the parks. And I think that's amazing. Now I think we're going to actually explore inside the garden wing a little bit. I'm very curious to see what it looks like in there. It looks like they have like a little lobby here. I don't know though. I've never been in here before uncharted property for me at Disney is hard to come by so I get excited about this well it looks nice very contemporary ish <laughs> I didn't know it went back so far you can go that way or you can go that way and I think there's stairs back there definitely a little bit bigger than I thought it was it's definitely showing its age a little bit though, I can tell you that. It's probably next for a renovation. Can't even see out the windows anymore. This side you can a little bit. Oh look, see I didn't know it went like that. So interesting. Well, that was very interesting to see something I've never seen before. I don't know how to compare it to the inside of the Contemporary because I've never stayed in the Contemporary. One day I'm going to stay in the Contemporary. I've only ever stayed at Bay Lake, but the Contemporary has always been like my, my dream resort. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would feel like that fulfillment if I stayed at the Garden View rooms. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're probably a lot cheaper, but let me know if you have stayed there before. Give me some feedback in the comments because I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Now I think we'll take a dive into the Contemporary itself. Check out all the different spots and maybe grab a drink or something to eat. Still haven't decided what we're going to do for dinner plans yet. And now I'm thinking maybe we just walk over to the Magic Kingdom. I mean, because we can. Might as well do it because this is an amazing opportunity being so close to the resort. And I mean, being so close to the park from the resort. This is the closest resort to any park, I feel like. Maybe Beach Club Depcot might be a little bit closer. I don't know, maybe. I would have taken the monorail, but the monorail takes you to TTC and then back through the Grand Floridian and then to Magic Kingdom. And I think it's just quicker to actually walk. But look at all the construction in here. They're definitely doing a lot of work. I do want to make it back to watch the sunset though. That is one thing on my list. Sunset with a beer on the balcony, perfection. We can take the little walkway too. It gets a little windy out here, but the views are, <laughs> I mean, it kind of says it for itself, doesn't it? Unbelievable. It is a beautiful day for a walk over to the Magic Kingdom. It's only about five, maybe 10 minutes from the uh, Bay Lake or Contemporary. The monorail takes about 10, 15 minutes depending on how many people get on and off. But as I was actually here, oh, hi friends. As I was walking over, some friends just strolled by, so I said, hi. I ended up finding a reservation for California Grill. So now I'm thinking, we're gonna have dinner at California Grill. I haven't eaten there in a while and went at Bay Lake or the Contemporary, might as well California Grill. It is such a beautiful walk. And then once you get up to this point and you can start to hear the Magic Kingdom music turn on and then seeing the monorails, gets you really excited. I'm very excited that we walked over to the Magic Kingdom. I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? When we're staying at a resort where you have the luxury to be able to walk to the Magic Kingdom, why wouldn't we? So even though we have to go to California Grill a little bit later on and I do want to watch the sunset, we are going to make the most of what we have here at the Magic Kingdom before we head back to the resort. I mean, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. I'm going to probably know that ahead of time, but I already know it's going to be a long video. So thank you for watching up to this point. And if you finish the video, thanks for watching the whole video even if you watch 10 seconds thanks for watching 10 seconds just look at all this 
Oh, it's beautiful out, isn't it? I think we're gonna get ourselves a coffee. I can go for a coffee right now. The line for Starbucks on Main Street seems a little bit long, so we're gonna see if we can get a drink at Joffrey's and then maybe take a spin on the People Mover. I feel like that'd be a fun thing to do. Looks like there's a long line for coffee just about everywhere. So I'm not walking back to the Main Street, so Joffrey's it is. And then for a little bit of a spin and a grand tour of Tomorrowland. I got a nice nitro cold brew with sweet cream. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, that's gonna do the trick. Now I gotta figure out where to get in line for the people mover. The entrance keeps changing on me, so I never know where I need to be. The cool thing is, is this is one of the queues where most of it's outside of the attraction, so we can uh, drink our coffee and uh, actually don't have to wear our mask until we get to the conveyor belt. Then we gotta mask up and get rid of the drink. I finished my coffee just in time. Maybe I'll be able to get a uh, cone people mover for today. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. I'm gonna take off my hat. Best remove them on this ride. For your safety, remain seated throughout your journey, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside your car. And please supervise your children. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your grand circle tour tomorrow. The People Mover is the perfect ride for people watching, so keep your eyes open because you never know who you're going to see. This was such a great decision to come ride the People Mover. It is probably the most relaxing ride ever. I could spend hours here just relaxing and going round and round. And they used to let you do that back in the day. I would say back in the day. Like I would say just two years ago they let you do that. That felt good. Just what I needed. Now I think we're gonna have to head back to the resort. We came in, we did a ride, and we were out. It was just about an hour that we were here. But like I said, it's just the, the point that you can come to Magic Kingdom and walk there. I wanted to show that, and plus, I wanted to go to Magic Kingdom. I mean, who needs an excuse? I could cut through the Tomorrowland Terrace, but I think I'd rather just go walk through the hub. I mean, I wanna get up close to the castle for a little bit. What's this guy doing, looking for fishes? Oh, I do see some fishes down there. What a good decision we made. Isn't she a beaut? Look at this sky though, it is so beautiful out. Definitely you're gonna enjoy a nice sunset today. I'm getting hungry thinking about California Grill tonight. I do know that they have some new entrees on the menu since the last time we ate there. And I'm excited because I remember uh, going back there in the past and some of the stuff was really, really good. And when I went back after the pandemic, it wasn't on the menu. So now I think they brought back a couple of their favorites. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to take a look and get something to eat. Since we walked here, I think we're gonna take the resort monorail back because the monorail actually goes straight to the contemporary from here. It's the first stop. So that way is the fastest. And I think I would like it that way because when you're walking into the park, you have all that energy and you're so excited to get there. But then at the end of the day, it's good to be able to be the first stop on the monorail loop because then you can just go back to your room, no problem. Our highway in the sky. Oh, that AC in here is actually doing really well. I 
think we can see our room from here. Right about there. <laughs> now we're heading into the contemporary though. Whoop! Look at that, it looks so different with all that construction. I'm gonna head back up to the room now, get changed and watch the sunset and get ready for our dinner at the California Grill. I'm very excited. This has been such a productive day so far. I'm having the best vacation or staycation ever right now. I get goosebumps every time I walk back into the room. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? The way the sun is shining into the room. Oh my Lord, I cannot wait for a nice sunset from here. It's gonna be absolutely stunning. This actually might be the most beautiful sunset I've ever captured here at Disney World. I, it's like breathtaking actually, absolutely breathtaking. Good evening, friends. I'd give anything to be there with you, but this seems to be one of those times I'm tied down here at the studio night and day. One. <laughs> well, it came about when my daughters were very young, and I, Saturday was always uh, Daddy's Day with the two daughters. So we'd start out and try to go someplace with, you know, different things, and I would take them to the merry ground and I took them different places and as I'd sit there while they uh, they rode the merry ground did all these things sit on a bench you know, eating peanuts I felt that there should be something built some kind of a an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together during the last few years we have ventured into a lot of different fields We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's me, I guess. <laughs> all alone, without your dog. Yeah, <laughs> all alone. <laughs> Just sitting here enjoying a Bud Light and one of the fancy glasses, because you know they got fancy glasses in there now, and enjoying life and just so grateful honestly it's I love doing these things I love coming and watching sunsets and sunrises and it's I'm always by myself it's just the most peaceful beautiful thing and I don't need to go to a Disney park to do it but I prefer a Disney park to all who come to this happy place welcome Disneyland is your land here age relives fond memories of the past and here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Well, that was a sunset I will not forget anytime soon. I think I'm gonna get myself all cleaned up, go down and check out the fire pit, and then we're gonna get ready to go to the California Grill. But before that, I wanna show you my setup, how I was actually doing the sunset, because it's a little tricky, but you wanna get the good angle, so I try to use all the uh, elements around me, and it's kind of funny. Here we're looking out on the balcony, and I have one of the cameras still recording right now, and I have the table out here, and I have the ice bucket turned upside down, and it's just catching that beautiful sunset as it's happening. Still recording. Uh, the, that, the weird thing is, is it shuts off at like 17 minutes. I don't know if that's something I can change. So I recorded just around 45 minutes worth of sunset footage. And then of course I'm gonna compress it all and speed it up so that it happens real fast. But man, this was beautiful. I mean, look at that sky. I'm excited to sit by the fire for a little bit, but can you imagine if it's not working right now? I've been talking up a big game about how great it is that they have the fire here and <laughs> they get over there and it's not working, but I'm sure it is. It has to be. BYOB to the bonfire. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. And look at that moon back there. This is going to be so cool. We're just going to sit here, relax, enjoy the fire, stare at that beautiful moon because I don't know why it's so bright and full. I love it. This is so awesome. And I can hear the water pageant. The water pageant's happening. We got a fire, a full moon, and a water pageant. 
honestly this is such an epic night to go from an amazing sunset to a fire pit the full moon and the uh, water pageant I don't know if I can see it though from here I think last time we missed it when I was out here so I think it might be on the other side there but I'm not gonna run over there because this is just too nice I don't want to leave my comfort area here <laughs> I could sit here for hours. It is so relaxing and soothing. I love hearing the water pageant music. Even though we can't see it, I love hearing it. But we need to get up to the California Grill for dinner. I'm a little hungry anyway, but I don't want to leave actually. <laughs> I honestly, I don't, I don't want to leave, but I need to eat and that's the last place. I think we got the last reservation of the night. So we got to get going here. But wow, this is great. What a, what a wonderful night. What a wonderful evening I'm having. Doesn't the contemporary look beautiful at night? I love the lights that run up the side of it. It's just so gorgeous. We're going to the second floor, which is the convention floor. And that's where the check-in for California Grill is. So right up these stairs right here. Now, the California Grill does have a dress code, so no hats, no swimsuit, no graphic tees. I think my Mickey uh, t-shirt will be okay. Uh, but yeah, so I have to take the hat off and I keep it on. It looks beautiful up here as always. That view of the castle right there, and we're gonna be sitting right here. I'm at my table, so I took my mask off. We can take a look at the menu. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to get already, but I still want to show you guys. And also, we're going to be able to take a look at our view because that is beautiful. I got a perfect view of the castle right there. So that's very nice to look at, especially at night when it's all lit up. It's very beautiful. Here is a look at the regular menu. We have some artisan hand-formed pizzas. I've had the pizza here before. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it is $23. And then down here with the entrees, they have some halibut and oak-fired filet of beef. Now, I've had the filet of beef before and it was delicious, but today I think I'm going all in and getting the 20-ounce bone-in ribeye steak. I went with the 20 ounce bone-in ribeye. It's $64, a little bit on the pricier side, but the oak-fired filet of beef is $59. And that comes with asparagus, the oak-fired beef. This one comes with a cheesy potato croquette. But I kind of want to just get mashed potatoes, so that's what they did. They gave me regular mashed potatoes. And I went Pittsburgh, because I love my Pittsburgh style. I like a little char on the outside, and I like it to be nice and soft on the inside. So I'm excited. I'm going to put this the test the oak fire filet of beef was pretty decent the last time I was here but I have very high expectations for this ribeye diving into the bread I'm gonna pull a little bit of the tomato oil out and put it on the plate right here I absolutely love the bread service here it has such a unique texture and taste and the bread is so soft and delicious definitely gonna save some for my steak juice you know what I'm talking about. At the end of the dinner, when you get done with your steak, you take the bread and you just swipe it around the plate. Absolutely amazing. And just like that, the ribeye has appeared. Take a look at that. We have some amazing onions on top, a nice char. Like I said, I ordered at Pittsburgh. And then I got the mashed potatoes instead of the cheesy croquettes. And I think I'm gonna like that a lot better because I like to actually like uh, swoop the steak in the potatoes. They also come with, I think this is a garlic aioli and also some more fried onions right there. So this is gonna be very delicious. I can't wait to cut into this. I can smell how amazing this is. Oh boy. Oh, this is too good. No way. It's like effortless. <laughs> oh man. That is amazing. I'm gonna try my steak just the way it is first, and then I will try the aioli and the mashed potatoes. So first bite, here we go. Honestly, I don't know what to say about that. It doesn't need anything else. It is perfect just on its own. Cooked exactly how I like it, and it's just so juicy and flavorful. This is one of the best steaks I've ever had. 
and like I've, I've had some very good steaks. Also along with the aioli we have the mashed potatoes and a little bit of onion on there so this is all in one right here. I am definitely going to be taking baby bites of this to make it last as long as I can. So so good. Wow. I like getting as close to the bone as possible. So we're going to try to cut right down there. Oh yeah. That is the way. Look at that. That is easily up there, like I said, with one of the best steaks I've had at Disney and probably anywhere else. And now from an amazing steak to a delicious looking creme brulee. Look at this. Chocolate and espresso. Oh wow, they even have strawberries. This is going to be delicious. I can tell just by the way it looks. It's a lot happening in that spoon, don't you think? Amazing. So delicious. Wow. I don't know what actually gets the black and white tonight. Is it the dessert or is it the steak? I guess when I'm editing, I'm going to have to think back on it, but that was wow. Now dinner is all finished and I am very, very full. I think we're just going to run out, check out the observation decks because you can't come up to the California Grill without going out there. And then probably heading back to the room to call it a night. Here are the decks themselves. Like I said, you gotta come out here and at least just take a quick look. Beautiful. So full. I'm so happy we're staying here. <laughs> you know, you know how you feel after you get done with a nice big meal. Now you get to just go back to your room and call it a night. But it's cool because the contemporary is completely empty right now. Look at this. The outer rim is closed. Chef Mickey's is closed. Contempo Cafe is closed. The monorail station is closed. Everything. It's like we got the whole contemporary to ourselves. We got the whole contemporary to ourselves. And now we are back in the room. And I think it's time we uh, call it a night here. Gonna hit the sack, wake up in early, get ourselves some coffee, and enjoy the daytime at the resort. So, good night. Good morning and another beautiful day. <laughs> it is morning time, time to make some coffee and I am just excited for the day. Just to be able to hang out at the resort. I, you know, I, I, I take things like kinda as they go. So I don't know if I'm gonna go over to Magic Kingdom to get some breakfast or if I should go to the Contempo Cafe. I mean, we have a lot of options, but coffee first, obviously. Time to drink my coffee and sit on the balcony and reflect on what we're gonna do with our day. This view is just so awesome. I absolutely love just being able to look out at the whole entire kingdom, just going about its day and doing business like usual. It's very relaxing. The only downside is you can hear the construction from the contemporary, but what are you gonna do? I mean, they have to, they have to renovate and revamp these resorts, so it's gonna happen. But look at that, you get monorails, you get boats, the Grand Floridian. Splash Mountain, Main Street USA, Cinderella Castle, Space Mountain, and even Tron. And I sit here and enjoy it all with my coffee. And the fancy cup too. Hot, hot, hot. Now I think it's time we get to moving along here and say goodbye to this beautiful room. Just about checkout time. I enjoyed my morning here though, so peaceful and relaxing. Staring out at the Magic Kingdom, drinking coffee, and this window right here in the main living room, it's so amazing. Well, I sat here all morning and uh, basically uh, ran up the clock until the point where I need to check out. 
<laughs> I, I was really having a good time just drinking coffee and staring out at the Magic Kingdom. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my bag up in my car and leave my car parked here and just walk over to the Magic Kingdom. You're staring at it so much, you're just like, oh, you know, I want to go there. So I'm not really in the mood for breakfast, so might as well go maybe ride a ride and just enjoy the Magic Kingdom. But before I go, before we check out of the room, I do want to say a big thank you to the Ozium family. They actually gave me this room to stay here so that I can make a video to show you guys what like a two bedroom is like. They uh, had DVC points that expired actually in just a couple of days and they couldn't make it down. So they were just like, well, instead of letting them go to waste, I'd like to see a fun little video and uh, I hope I came through. I, I, I honestly, I enjoyed this middle staycation, but also I hope it brought you guys entertainment and even a little knowledge about staying here. And that's what matters the most to me. <laughs> so goodbye, beautiful view. Goodbye, big comfy chair. Goodbye, resort TV. Goodbye, Space Mountain painting. I'll miss you the most. The funniest thing just happened to me. So I'm here staying at Bay Lake, looking at the Magic King, talking about how I wanna go and just go visit because I've been staring at it all day and then I'm like, you know what? Let's just go for a walk over to the Magic Kingdom. I totally forgot that you can't do that. You can't just go to Magic Kingdom. I don't have a reservation to go to the park. What was I thinking? Like literally, I checked out of my room, I put my bags in my car, and I'm like, let's go have fun at Magic Kingdom. And I can't go. <laughs> they don't have any reservations available. Wow. Oh well. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think, I guess I'm gonna end it here. But I'm like, kind of like still in like, man, what a bummer. Anywho's, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>